Hey guys, it is Darth and I am finally back after another hiatus uh, due to a string of unfortunate events, including but not limited to the fact that my, the microphone on my webcam that I used to record stopped working. The webcam worked, but I don't do OnlyFans, at least not yet. Uh, I have tossed around the idea of, you know, banana hammock shows. I, Never mind. <laughs> uh, anyways, I am back. I know after my initial, my very first state of the game back, uh, I believe it was on the 1st of September, 2nd of September, I had stated that there was going to be lots of content I'm working on, and I am still working on that, including uh, one of the better systems in the game, you know, the guild battle that a lot of people like, although that, had, that like has tapered off a bit, as expected. Um... As well as uh, some of the other new features in the game. And this video isn't about the guild battle. It is about a new system that they actually incorporated into the game about two weeks ago. I want to say roughly two weeks ago. Um, which we had no notice about. They don't give us notice when they are implementing changes to the game. They just do it and we kind of have to figure it out. And I've had time to spend with this system. Uh, I think that it is cool at least to start, and then it takes a really dark turn. And hopefully that'll change uh, in the future, but it starts off good, takes a dark turn because it does kind of cater to whales. But there's something for everybody here. Well, what is that system? Well, it's located under the vault. If you don't know, the vault was uh, formerly relics. It's been renamed to the vault so that they can add uh, probably various things, but it's under the vault and it's the formation new tab called the formation upgrade. So it's a formation upgrade system. And this system, uh, basically in a, in quick fashion, it provides you with uh, stat boosts in the form of, uh, you know, basic attributes, attack and HP, as well as a new skill set, uh, or new set of skills that kind of mimic, let's say, spicy poses in terms of their usefulness and power and that's on that's on the second tab here uh, formation skills and go, just kind of go over uh, just to kind of give you an idea how powerful they really are increasing your damage damage resistance also uh, adding damage ignoring effect to your tunes which kind of go hand in hand with increasing your damage if you're ignoring enemy defense you're actually doing more damage um, it's actually really cool uh, because there's something for everybody here, but um, there is a part where it becomes a pay-to-win scheme. Oh, my roommate's uh, alarm went off there, but it's kind of a cool system. Um, it's not the traditional formation upgrade that you might think it is when you first hear, well, it's a formation upgrade, because it doesn't follow the formation standards that you have when doing a team setup. Basically, it is a row setup, it has three different rows, front, middle, and back, that you can upgrade to provide these formation skills to. And along the way, as you level them up, you actually get an increase, small increase, but over time it adds up of attack and HP. On a side note, I really wish that they would start adding defense to a lot more of the in-game systems. People do not understand that defense in this game scales really well. Anybody who has equipped their artifact gear, uh, generally gear doesn't have defense on it until you add the boots and chest where you see defense added and as you upgrade it that defense increases. Anybody who has artifact gear and has upgraded it knows that defense increases your survivability quite a lot. And that's important and that's important when you start talking about adding uh, more damage and now with the addition of being able to ignore enemy defense you can't just continue to add just attack and HP. HP can be chewed through really quickly. It, it doesn't do anything for your survivability. That's just a side rant. I'll do another video about that because I think that that is important. But just know that I, I think that that needs to be done. So without further ado, 
how do you go about upgrading this system? And it seems complicated at first because it kind of is and it kind of isn't because it involves two different screens and a two different stat boosts. Well, you start upgrading this by doing what you do every day, summoning. Now, it's not apparent on this screen, but this whole system is basically revolves around summoning. Okay, and that's where you get these little gold doubloons. They're, they're actually not called doubloons, but that's what they look like to me. They're actually called formation energy. They look like little gold seals to me, but you invest these. I forgot that it takes you to that screen. Um, you invest the, these formation energy coins into stat boost and leveling up each of these various formation rows, which means you do have to make a choice because this doesn't follow the standard formation. Where, where are you going to get the most benefit? By like, where are you going to put? Knowing that these skills increase your damage and, and resistance might alter where you put them. Well, it's not that simple, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So, I'm going to say right now, it does not matter which one of these you start with, and you're going to see why here in this here as we go through the upgrade and leveling up process because it becomes blocked at a certain point. But let's start off with the positives before we get to that dark turn. So you invest these energies, and every time you invest these energies, it gives you a small attribute bonus, and it's stacks actually amongst all three of these. So as you level up these three individually, all of these cumulative attack and HP bonuses stack and they add together to give you uh, a good boost, uh, I guess, over time. But keep in mind that this all revolves around summoning. So over time, it will add up. My, the issue is here is that it costs an ever increasing amount of these coins to level up. But before we get into that, we'll just talk about how you get these energies. We talked about summoning. Well, let's go to that screen. And actually, that screen is under the spring. And it's on this screen, kind of kind of relates to the Holy Jewels. But you get formation certificates by exchanging a thousand formation energy to get a coin. This is kind of like the ultimate summons. The more you spend every thousand points that you get, you transfer that into a tier. This one is a bit easier to obtain because it's a different type of system. Let's click on the little button here. Every time you summon, you collect energy from normal summons to the spicy prayers, select rivals, ultimate summons, and even the oracle summons. And here's the point cost that you get. So you can kind of see that the more you summon, the better you're going to do, the more points that you're actually going to get. Um, I want to point out interesting that Oracle Summon is gives the most points. A lot of people sleep on Oracle Summons. I've tried to mention this in some of my earlier videos that I put a high value on these. Not for this because the system just came out, but because of their usefulness in um, getting certain, uh, exchanging the currency that you get for certain warriors. But just know that every time you summon, that you get a point system added and you're going to collect that energy. Stats are determined by the number of Saint Jewels, so you're going to get a bonus of 5% per 50 Saint Jewels. If you don't know, these jewels are a pay-to-win scheme. Every time you spend, I believe it's $10 a day, you get a jewel or two that you come in here and it increases your stats. I only have 30, so I don't have the bonus. But this is where whales, or most people who spend at least $10 a couple times a week, and this game came out in April, they're going to have a huge, huge leg up on people like you and me who don't really spend a lot of money uh, to get these bonuses. So again, it is a, it does kind of cater to those who invest in the money. I, I say invest, but it's pay to win. Um, they get those 5% bonuses. And because the jewels cap out at 250 currently, it's a 25% bonus if you have it maxed out. So let's just go in and do our summons real quick every day you get a free summons so every day you get your free summons on your rivals spicy poses so basically they're throwing you a bone by saying hey every time you summon we're gonna make it more worth your while we're gonna give you rewards
rewards in this new system. But really, it's a way to funnel you into the whales into giving them bigger bonuses for the amount of money that they have actually spent in game. But it, as I mentioned in the beginning, it does throw a bone to those of us who are free to play, mild spenders, and even medium spenders because we can benefit from the stat boosts. So now that I've done my summoning, and let's go in here to your summoning. Let's do our free one real quick. Let's do our normal summon free one. Let's even do one of our oracles. I always go break. Boom. Done. 3,000. Okay, so we're going to come in here and we're just going to collect our three scrolls. Three energies. That's it. You now have a bank of energies. So now you go into your vault, you go into your formation upgrades, and now you have to make a choice. I, I chose the front one to invest in first to get to level 3 just to see what was going on, but as you can see, the cost rises. And I've started a chart to kind of s plot how it increases up to 12, and it seems like every couple of levels, like every three levels, it increases. But I've started to upgrade this one, so it takes three to go one more level and boom, you upgrade. You get a attack and HP bonus, so that applies to all your warriors, and there you go. Now, that's it. That's how you start off upgrading this system. Every day you come in, you do your summons. You collect your points, and you invest your points. You get the, the stat boost. Now comes the tricky and annoying part. Uh, the, that's your base stats attribute. It's the formation skills that everybody wants. Everybody wants this upgrading, uh, this damage and ignore. You notice the one here, it, formation skills actually can be upgraded. You have a skill glossary here. You can actually upgrade these all the way up to a 10% damage bonus resist and 20% enemy defense ignoring. Guys, this is why I think that we, I mean, between spicy poses and this, ignoring defense is going to really kind of kill Arena. I'm not going to harp on that too much, but it is what it is. Uh, we need more systems in game to add defense to cope with some of this kind of stuff. This is really going to have a big impact on Arena, but more so than you think, because upgrading these, unlocking these skills and then upgrading them is the controversial part. Not a lot was known until this week about it. Uh, because of the secondary part of the upgrade system, so I'm going to fill you in on that. If you notice here, it says reach form level 30 to unlock. Okay, seems reasonable enough. Okay, you unlock levels by investing these, this gold formation coins, okay? And as you level up, you get the boosts, but you need to reach level 30 to unlock this first formation skill. Well, I have done that. I've unlocked the, I'm level 30 on the front row here, just because I kind of wanted to see where this was going, and my hunch was correct. It is worse than you might think. I did not, un at level 30, I did not unlock this skill. Okay, I have to involve a second form of currency <laughs> to unlock it. It does not automatically unlock, as it says, it kind of leads you to believe you reached level form level 30 to unlock. You need another currency called Formation Scrolls. We're going to talk about that in a second. So I don't have this bonus, despite getting up to level 30. The problem is, is that nobody has seen these scrolls until this week. And as you guessed it, the only way to get it is in packs. And let me just say, they are expensive. How expensive? Well, let's go take a look at the pack. It's under the custom pack. This is the first appearance of the scrolls. They are nowhere to be found in any of these until you get down to fifty dollars and it's in this first one you get twenty you have the choice of twenty five scrolls at fifty dollars and you have to buy that a couple times just to get a hundred for a hundred dollars you actually have a choice of fifty but it unlocks the second one you can get twenty five and then you can get twenty five more which still does not allow you to unlock that level thirty form let's go back to it you need two hundred scrolls this is a problem. This is where the dark turn comes. Although they are, I think they, like I said, I think they're throwing people a bone by, hey, you're locking in every day, you're 
this is a way to get people to log in, by the way, come in and do their free summons, and then maybe even spend gems or books on summoning. And that's a good thing, reward people for doing what they're doing in-game with these stat boosts. And this formation skill is great right up until you run into the paywall. And this paywall is harsh. And this is reminiscence of anybody who's had trouble with Revelation Stones in upgrading their Warriors from 11 to 12 star. Not happy about this. I'm hoping, and this is just me giving the benefit of the doubt, that they go on ahead and add these scrolls in somewhere else. But I really wish that at least the first skill would unlock at level 30 so that we can invest, so that us low spenders and free-to-play payers could eventually unlock at least the first skill to compete, get that damage resistant. There's not competing for anybody who has a level 5 skill at right, the 20% and 10%, but it should automatically unlock at level 30 with no scrolls. This is like artifact gear, guys. When you invest the XP into the artifact gear and you hit level up and unlock, it actually doesn't unlock until you invest a second currency called the hammers. And a lot of people are familiar with that system. This is the same thing, except the paywall on this one is far worse than the Revelation Stones, at least currently. What they could do is they could add these scrolls to the idle rewards. They could add it to the clan bosses. They could add it to the guild uh, bosses. I mean, the, uh, the monster takedowns. We'll have to see how this kind of plays out, but right now free to play and even mild spenders and even whales actually aren't going to be able to unlock these juicy bonuses until they get their hands on these scrolls and until they make them more available nobody's going to have these bonuses unless they're spending a whole lot of money so that's it guys log in every day do your summons go to your spring collect your certificates i mean go to the vault and upgrade your stats. My recommendation is because of the increasing cost, as you can see they cost 12, and that's that's basically 12,000 energy you have to spend here, uh, is it starts off with two and increases, you know, three, four, five, and, and so forth, is get to 30 on one, get to 30 on another, get to 30 on the three, get all three of them, get, get the stat bonuses, you know, it's about 1,440 times three, same thing with the HP, and then decide for yourself how you want to kind of go and invest. But unlock at least level 30. That way, if the scrolls do become more readily available, or you do decide to spend money, at least you can unlock that first skill. It's a good system, marred by a bad upgrade path, uh, but it does have something for everybody. So there is positives and there is negatives. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think of this system, how far you've been able to upgrade. Uh, what do you think about the fact that it's actually quite expensive? Um, I think that this is, I was really excited when I saw it, but now that I have a level 30, I really understand and we all kind of saw where that was going. Like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you can, guys, and look forward to more videos now that my microphone is fixed.